has a lot of interesting ideas about health care and a puggle rescue that is incredibly cute. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, we better get going. We got to get there before you're dead. Primary, and it is a dogfight on the Democratic side. Bernie Sanders is leading, as you see. Man, Warren could use a boost. Yeah, it's nice to have a candidate who's also a single mom. She provided childcare for the caucuses last week. I was this close to flying to Iowa so I could go to a movie. <laughs> if we have to watch this stupid thing, then let me have the laptop. I gotta study for my GED. Uh, what does GED stand for? General equivalency degree. There, you just passed. Uh, no, you're not even gonna study. You're just gonna take an edible and then surf the web for post-ironic t-shirts. <laughs> You almost broke my laptop, you psycho. You don't care about my stuff. You don't care about anything but yourself. Relax, it's not broken. You don't live here, so why don't you just leave? And don't say goodbye this time, either. What? You're mad that I moved out? Yeah, you just walked out and left me here with these crazy people. <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey, you don't get to make me feel guilty just because I'm trying to live my own life. If you look around at our family, you might not know it, but people are supposed to move out. <laughs> I have no one to talk to now. I told Grandpa that I had a boy crush, and we ended up watching Spartacus and eating a bucket of fried chicken. So you got KFC. What's your problem? You know what? I do have a problem. But it's a waste of time talking to you. Screw you! We only have one TV in the house. You have to leave. <laughs> oh, hey. Thanks for offering to close up, Beck. It's pretty dead in here. I'm going to go home and pack. Where the hell are DJ and Dad? Louise is going to leave. I'll stall her. Wait! I'm not gonna see you for a while, and I just wanna let you know what an inspiration you are to me and all the things you've taught me, like putting rice in the salt shakers. Thanks. Surprise! Surprise! It's your going away party. You told me she already left. Yes, I did. <laughs> you know, this is really sweet, but I have to get home. Wait. Not until we get a good picture of you. Yeah, that's a great that's idea. Good. Yeah, yeah, that way you'll have a picture of Dan that you can take with you on the road, because they change so fast at this age. Well, Louise, I know nothing about this. All right, hold on a sec. I can't get it off selfie. <sighs> Why didn't you tell your family that we broke up? Because if I talk to my family, that just encourages them to talk back to me. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, now it's on landscape. Hold on. <sighs> All right, look, let's not embarrass anybody. Let's just get this over quick, and then you can tell them when I leave. OK, I got it. <sighs> All right, this was great, but I really have to get home. I am leaving so early in the morning. Then why go to bed at all? Let's do some shots. <laughs> to Louise, we are going to miss you. To, to Louise. Louise. To Dan, who is going to miss Louise. To, to Dan. Dan. To Louise and Dan, who will miss each other. <laughs> to Louise, Louise and Dan. Dan. Darling, stop. OK, Dad, then you make a toast. To Louise. I said stop. I know what you're doing, and I don't want to do this. Louise, wait. Let me drive you home. No. I need this to end. And I really need you to leave me alone. Sorry, guys. in the Connor family, we are not shy about telling you how we feel. So we're telling you democracy only works if you get off your butt and vote. That's why we're teaming up with I Am A Voter to encourage people to make sure they're registered. We even make it a family affair by going to the polls together. Afterwards, we go for pizza and have an embarrassing public fight about how we voted. But you can't make people feel stupid about their choice unless you vote. Visit IamAVoter.com to double check your voter registration and get all the information you need to be ready to vote in every election.
day after the contest is over is a tough day if you didn't get any delegates in the previous in the previous state. And so somebody, if 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 Elizabeth Warren or Joe Biden, hey, I checked the primary on my phone. The older candidates are saying they have a bigger advantage over the younger ones because of their experience. I say a rap battle at a local club would make it way more fair. <laughs> And Jackie's back. She'll watch the baby now. You can leave. Look, I'm not going anywhere. I want to hear about this problem you've got. You know, you're just doing this because I made you feel guilty. That's the only reason anyone does anything good. <laughs> Come on, spill the tea. Remember Austin? Well, we kind of got together again, but he ignores me at school because he doesn't want anyone to know he's gay. He even makes fun of me sometimes, and it makes me feel really bad about myself, but I like him. Dump his ass. <laughs> uh, but it's not all his fault. His family just doesn't accept him for who he is. But that doesn't give him the right to treat you like crap, Mark. Boy, bye. <laughs> but, but he... Nope. You, you want to be back in your life, you got me back in your life. From now on, you're running all of your boyfriends by me. And if you ever get a boyfriend, you can run it by me. <laughs> I am a strong and independent woman. Therefore, I'm alone. <laughs> Who's ahead? I don't know. The bachelor promos at the bottom of the screen keep covering it up. <laughs> oh, they moved the rows. Uh, Bernie has 28%, Klobuchar's up to 21%, and Yang dropped out. How'd the party go? Well, it was a going away party, and she certainly went away. <laughs> nice job. You threw a party for two people who broke up last week. You broke up? Why didn't you tell us? Because it's none of your damn business. Got it. What happened? Oh. <laughs> You're never going to stop, are you? Louise broke up with me because I wasn't ready to commit, and now you've made it worse. Whoa. Don't blame us. You have been dragging your feet with her forever. We were trying to give you a chance to make it right. I was going to make it right when I was ready. I've been having a hell of a time getting over your mom. So I went to church. You went to church? <laughs> yes, I went to church. They were having a rummage sale and I drifted in. <laughs> I was looking for a new radio for the truck and I figured nobody's going to screw you in the church. So. <laughs> Anyway, the father was there, and I told him what was bothering me. So what did he say? Don't laugh. He told me to write a letter to your mom about how guilty I was feeling about Louise, and then set it on fire so I could let it go and move on. Did you do it? No. I was going to do it in two weeks on your mom's birthday, and then talk to Louise, but now it's pointless. She never wants to see me again. Oh, come on, Dad. You're just going to give up and be one of those weird old dudes that goes to the DMV to be around people? <laughs> just let us help you. We can figure something out. No, we aren't figuring anything out. I will figure something out my way, in my time. Fine. It's all you. When you say in my time, are you talking months, years? <laughs> just give us a ballpark. Go to your rooms. We are not children. You want to pay rent? Go, Becky, go! Behind him, of course, Bernie Sanders' team will point out that if that were the case, well, he wouldn't be doing so well. Hello? Hi, this is Hillary Clinton, and I'm <laughs> calling on behalf of the Democratic Party. <laughs> Stupid robocall. No, people have accused me of being a robot. Uh, <laughs> but this is really Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it's her. She must be trying to get people to vote. Uh, hello? Hang on, let me get where there's better reception. Uh, okay, this is better. Yeah, I see that you've just turned 18, Harris. <laughs> and this is a very important election. You know, as I gaze upon the Lincoln Memorial, <laughs> here in our nation's capital, I think about the role of women in this election and how we're stronger together. 